I'm Norbert Vaassen, energy engineer, and today we will talk in this video number seven about pellet stoves and how to run, how to decrease the running costs. Because nowadays the cost of a unit of energy with pellets is 50% higher than that of natural gas, at least today in Italy. Now what, uh, what I want to arrive at is that the pellets are way too expensive. So what do you do? You stop uh, using the, the pellet stove. No, if you make a switch from pellets to, uh, to wood, or better still, you make it a hybrid one, you use pellets and wood, then you can decrease the cost of uh, running this pellet stove way below that of, uh, of natural gas. So I had a pellet stove, I bought a pellet stove 15 years ago. Uh, it was a typical fireplace configuration. And uh, 17 years, that is a lot of time, uh, even for a pellet stove. I was noting that uh, the ignition phase was very long. But I thought the fire is very big and it takes 15 minutes this ignition during which time there was no air blown into the room. That means all this energy was going just through the chimney and I had to wait 15 minutes for my heat. Then at some time this uh, one of those fans broke and which fan it was? It was the fan which brought the air into the room. Then you see here the, the reason that this motor was not working, it was just the condenser, the condensator. And so uh, I uh, bought a new one and I put it on the place of the old condensator and there it was working. And then I thought, okay, now that we are there, uh, the stove is open, uh, can I improve something? Because I don't want just to repair a stove, it is uh, about energy and okay, that's my, uh, my business. So now I will show you how to make a fire in a pellet stove with a hybrid method. So what I do first is I put a little bit of paper and that is to absorb the waste oil because I will use that for the ignition in the initial phase. Because in this way it will not only help the fire but it will also absorb the oil and avoid that it drips down into the oven. Oil doesn't burn very quickly so I put a little bit of alcohol. There we go, a little bit. The waste oil. I have a 50 liter of it. It's just the oil which is too old and has a bad taste. And then I put a few pieces of wood, which I found in nature. So this was already decaying in the roots. You can also take any twigs. So. So the electric part of the oven is not, of the stove is, is still not working. So now you can see in the dark how this is functioning. So the alcohol will fire up immediately. And uh, there we go. So now at uh, this point you can also see, uh, start the electric system. I start with a very low combustion air, uh, but I uh, increase it now in this way. You can see the effect. You don't want to blow out the fire, but you see it immediately, and it's not even at half. And now I will also start the pellets. So you see now, you should see now pellets falling. Yeah, I hear them already falling. And I hear also the clicks of the relay. I can put also some additional wood on it, just to show you that I can still make more combustion air. See the effect. You know that I like the hybrid mode of uh, wood pellets. If you forget uh, to put uh, wood on it, then it will burn very low. Uh, it will therefore consume very little pellets, but it will not go out. And uh, that's also the reason that I don't put uh, so much combustion in. It's not necessary. You can say this is a successful and very quick ignition of the stove. In the past, when it was all automatic, it uh, took 15 minutes, minutes uh, without heat. So that uh, was all waste. It uh, was only useful to, uh, to heat up the chimney. And that's of course also necessary because you want a good straw. But anyway, I like it better now. The cost of a unit of energy with pellets is 50% higher than that of natural gas. So what I like to do is to make a unit of cost. So I will use the term euro cents per kilowatt hour of heat. That will always be including the losses. So in, uh, in the past year, two years ago, I bought an incredible 
amount of, of pellets. It was uh, way too much for one winter. I bought it for about 5 uh, euros per bag of 15 kilograms. And uh, then in this uh, winter the price rose to 11 euro and now it's uh, about uh, 9 euro. I used it at the price of uh, 9 or 10 euro per bag of 15 kilograms. And uh, with that in this way the price for pellets per kilowatt hour is more or less 16 euro cents. And that is about 50% higher than the price of 1 kilowatt hour of natural gas. If you want to calculate the price for your heating at your home, then you must uh, calculate 9 kilowatt hours per cubic meter of natural gas, 4 kilowatt hours per kilogram of pellets, and for heating oil we use 10 kilowatt hours per kilogram of oil. And as I said, that includes losses in the boiler or in the stove. Okay, then you will ask, uh, uh, what's the price of uh, wood? Okay, wood you can find partly uh, without cost, you can find it in the nature, and of course you have to to have respect for the nature, so you collect only wood which is uh, there on the ground. Uh, you can also take uh, waste wood, but please take care because there are several types of uh, waste wood. And if you take, for example, a chipboard of uh, the matter, the basic material of many things which you find in your home now, that is not good. They are they are treated. You can also have uh, pallets, and you have untreated wood, but you have also treated wood. So please take care. For example, if you see the mark MB which is of uh, methyl bromide that is very toxic and you should not burn that but also other kind of treated wood you should not burn but anyway you have waste wood which uh, you can use as firewood and you have also the wood in the nature which you can burn in the in the stove and it, it doesn't cost anything so if you buy for example commercial firewood then you will pay three times less than with the pellets so like for example in uh, Italy Commercial firewood costs about uh, uh, six uh, cents, euro cents per kilowatt hour, and that's also calculating the fact that it contains uh, 20 or 25 percent of uh, of humid uh, instead of pellets, which contain not more than eight percent. So that's all inside. So six euro cent per kilowatt hour. That's uh, much less than pellets, uh, which we saw at uh, 16 euro cents per kilowatt hour. So uh, we are with even with uh, commercial firewood, we are uh, way below uh, natural gas. So with all this, what do you get? What are advantages of it? And why is it a good answer to the situation of today that pellets are so expensive? Well, I can put the pellet stove and the supply of pellets very low and in uh, such a way that it will um, consume very little pellets, but the fire will not go out. And that is very important because that's the big advantage of the pellet stove. That is automatic and you don't have to look always and to, uh, to, to ensure that there's enough uh, fuel on it. So then you have the best of the two worlds. You have the pellets which are automatic and you have the, and you have the firewood which is at uh, low cost. And then it is up to you how much uh, firewood you put on it or, and how much uh, pellet. And as you see it is not too difficult to, uh, to do this. You open the stove, you bring the controls outside even uh, an electrician can do it for you and you will save hundreds of uh, euros or dollars on, on the pellets. So when this is uh, the stove uh, running in the ambience, in the context let's say. And uh, you see that it's now running on a low level. So you don't see even the flame, only the sparks. And uh, it's ready to receive the firewood. It will stay here forever. Uh, I think uh, you might even uh, go on for 24 hours or so with uh, one bag of 15 kilo and uh, as soon as you put uh, wood on it then uh, it will go it will just uh, start to burn that wood. So I will show you that how I do it. <laughs> So now you see the flame again and, uh, and the flame will get even uh, larger and uh, you put just uh, in all your freedom the uh, wood on it if you need it and uh, if not it will just uh, go on running. And that's the hybrid stove which uh, works on pellets and consumes really little of it and it uh, runs also on wood. 
Okay, so that's it for today. Uh, we saw that we can build and uh, convert a pellet stove into a hybrid pellet and uh, firewood stove. It doesn't finish here because I lost something with this uh, conversion. So the automatic functions of the stove, for example, there was a timer on and I don't have it anymore. There was a thermostat on it and I don't have it anymore. And uh, also the synchronization that if you bring more pellets inside it, that you have also more combustion air and also more ambient air. Now you have also with the manual uh, supply of uh, firewood uh, and then you have also to uh, increase the, the combustion and also the heating air. So I want anyway, I want to bring back the automatization functions and that I will do for uh, next time because I think uh, the fact that we made this conversion from the pellet stove to the uh, hybrid stove that's already a great deal. And another thing uh, which I would like to do, um, you see on the other, other videos that I work with the waste oil. I think that also here you can do that. I, you can build an oil dripper uh, of the stove and it will fall into the pit when usually the, the pellets uh, are falling. And then of course you have also to do something there because you cannot uh, uh, let the, the oil drip uh, just in the, in the uh, pit. You have to do something also there. So that's something that I would like to do. I uh, would also like to use the oxygen generator, which you also know from my other videos. Okay, that's it. Uh, I would like invite you to like, subscribe, and to put uh, the comments and uh, questions uh, in the area below. And then I will try to answer them. And uh, also if you have, for example, ideas for the future, then uh, I would like to hear from them. And then I can adapt my next videos to your wishes. Have a good energy.